need a pants, what they call me. So, you wanna make easy money. Let me explain a few things to you. So I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. Not everyone has what it takes to accomplish a small side business in sales. I firmly believe anybody can do anything. Meaning, you wanna become a successful lawyer? You learn how to argue and you go do it. But, sales is different. You need to have the ability to know what the other person wants or needs to hear. And yes, there is a difference. Now, there are people who are born for sales and there are people who can learn how to sell. But there might be some people who just aren't made for sales and that's okay too. But you need to know where you stand. Are you born for sales or are you willing to learn? Either way, I'll teach you how to make some quick and easy money selling locally on the side in these next few minutes. Step one, know what your market is. I can easily sell you a drill, a cell phone, a hamburger, whatever. But you'll never catch me trying to sell you a new car or a secure system. I don't know enough about them to do so. People know when you're trying to bullshit your way in and out of a sale. They can also tell you're not confident in what you're talking about. So you'll lose sales in that way as well. I will never ever tell someone, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about if I don't. Don't ever try to bullshit your way in and out of a sale. You don't know what could happen. You could ruin your reputation. You can be known as someone who doesn't know what they're talking about, a liar, a sleazy salesman. Just a few things that you don't want attached to your name. Try and sell them something that you don't know what you're talking about. Step two. It won't take off overnight, usually. Starting a small side business is a small investment. You usually need to start out of pocket, whether it be $20, $200, $2,000. Businesses need investments to get started. You can start by selling or trading your own items from your home, but I personally prefer starting my own business by buying stock, meaning you know items to sell off of somebody else, online, in person, whatever. It gives me a bit of a rush and gives you the ball rolling in your brain like I am starting this. The second part of step two is that it'll take time. I know there are videos everywhere saying get rich in 24 hours or start a Shopify store and get rich in three days. I hate to say it, it probably won't happen to me or you. I've tried it, it never worked. Whoever did get rich and famous, whatever, in three days, a week, whatever, got super lucky and I hate to say it, it probably won't happen to you or me ever. Step three, don't give in and aim high. Now, for example, when I say aim high, say your item cost you $20 and you're willing to sell for $40. The best way to help ensure you're going to get either more close to what you're asking or wanting without going below your goal is to list it for $15 or $20 more than what you're really wanting for it. That's what other people are doing and so should you. It's just gonna help ensure that you're not losing money, you're not gonna seem like someone who's just a pushover salesman, all that kind of stuff. It's super, super, super smart to help your, uh, your sales is to aim a little higher than what you're asking, gives you room to seem like you give the customer something, but you're also getting what you want. Both parties walk away feeling super satisfied with the sale. Now let me explain what I mean when I say don't give in. People aren't gonna instantly accept your asking price, so prepare to negotiate with people who are interested in your item. Now, not everyone's gonna negotiate the same either. There are many different types of negotiators out there, aggressive, non-aggressive, just whatever. Some people will banter back and forth for a few minutes, with you and some people will just try to take control of the situation and in that situation it can be easy to lose control but even harder to regain control you lose a few sales and take a few losses you have to learn where you went wrong sales is a game and a business is an even bigger one learn from your mistakes and grow in your business you're not going to be the star salesman overnight i wasn't I might even the best salesman out there. I can guarantee that you're starting off this fresh or you have a little bit of experience. You're not quite ready to win every battle of negotiation. I still take them on every day. They're my livelihood, the side business that I run, all that kind of stuff. So be prepared to negotiate and not don't back down when someone gets a little aggressive with you during the negotiation. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks and I hope it helps. Thank you all for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, let me know if there's anything that you think I missed or anything you'd like me to cover in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next video.